Hey guys, is namelessness a business problem today? I just called you guys, right? Uh, have you ever noticed how many people were saying hey to and just not calling their names? If you want to flush this out, have some fun with it, stick around for this uh, quick episode. Thanks. Hello, everybody. Jeff Mason with Simple Biz 360 Podcast. Simple Biz 360 uh, Timeless Business Tools. 255 of them in about 204 pages. $18.95 on Amazon. What do we do? We looked at overlooked and ignored business principles that lead to business health and growth, right? It's all that business experience stuff. So it's the how we do business, not so much the what. So thanks for tuning in. Hey, we'd love your subscription. Love your comments at the end of the show. Uh, if you're listening on any one of the 28 listening channels, we're on everything you could think of, iHeart, Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, you name it. And then uh, uh, YouTube TV, right? We're on there. We have our own channel, Simple Biz 360 Podcast. You can go in the lower right-hand corner. There's a little favicon there, a little pinwheel. Boom. Just just uh, hover over that. It'll take you to subscription you have to be signed in, but subscribe, and, you'll, and then you'll get the weekly shows every Thursday morning at 6 when they come out. You get a notification. We're on IGTV, and we are on Gab TV too. So uh, we're going to have some fun today with nameless customers, right? And, you know, what's, uh, what's a nameless customer? Well, take a look at the picture frame on the wall. There is a picture of my best customer. I just call him, hey. Right? Do you remember that episode uh, we had a while ago where we talked about how many people just say hey? And right, we argued that if you cut the comp country in half, about half the country just address everybody as hey, right? So there's the hey right there. Um, but do we do this a lot? Yeah. Do we just not even say the person's name? Yes. I can confess right here that I have very close people to me in my life that I don't believe have ever said my name. I'm not kidding you. No lie. Um, my mother-in-law knows of someone very close to her that's never uttered her name once. Not once. And I have been watching this over the years, and it's happening in groves. And I want you to look at that empty picture frame for a second. Ask yourself, do I have customers that feel like their picture is not in the frame? They are just a customer. They are part of that greater hay portfolio, right? I'm just one of the hay portfolio people. Hey, I'm managing $750,000 of your money, but hey, I'm not going to call you by name. Hey, I got an idea for you. Hey, how are you? Hey, right? Yo, buddy. Hey, guy. Hey, what's going on? Uh, you know, how's it going? What's happening? I mean, all these different types of greetings, and we're forgetting to say, hello, Jeff. Hello, Matt. And, and, you know, when you look at Dale Carnegie, right, he has 30 principles. His number six principle is a person's name is, to that person, the sweetest sound in any language. Yes, their name. You know, have you ever heard, I'm sure you have, have you ever heard a doctor, um, let's say it's Dr. James McIntyre, and they say, uh, hello, this is James McIntyre here on the show today. And then all of a sudden you hear, uh, no, I'm sorry, that's Dr. James McIntyre. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I've heard it plenty of times because I'm listening for it, right? And, and you, next time <laughs> you'll probably hear it tomorrow. But the reason they say that is they've worked very hard to obtain their title. And they've worked endless and years and endless hours to get that title. And they want to be called by that title. Well, uh, you know, a mother um, names her child a name and that, that child ends up, uh, you know, getting used to hearing that name over and over throughout their life. Well, they too like that name. And so I just ask you to ask yourself, are you dragging around um, a lot of name baggage with you in the respect that you're not calling people by name? Are you, do you have too many nameless portfolios, hey portfolios hanging on the wall where it doesn't really matter whose picture's in it because you're not serving 
the people in that picture. You're serving the numbers in the portfolio. If you're serving as a financial advisor, the numbers in the portfolio and not the people that should be hanging in that picture, you're doing a great disservice to yourself, to your organization, and to that customer. And I would bet that that family, that customer doesn't feel loved. Uh, and, and what that leads to, I hope it never leads to a lost customer, but, uh, but I'm sure it could, right? I mean, I, I really do. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I just want to stir some thought on how hard is it really to just say, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Oh, it's Jeff, Jeff Mason. Hey, Jeff, uh, Andy, very nice to meet you, Jeff. It, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Andy, appreciate that. Um, and then, you know, I mean, that's as simple as it gets. And then from then on, you don't just say, hey, you say, hey, Andy. I mean, I, I've told you guys this story before. I, I loved watching my kids out here in Missouri, and I don't know if it was really a Missouri thing or if it was just um, that age group. But, but all of a sudden, you know, I was a 29-year-old, sales manager in New York City metro area and 22 year old kids called me you know college graduates called me Mr. Mason and then I moved out here and I, I could only count you know three or four people that addressed me as Mr. Mason I was hey I was hey there were all, all my 20 years out here for the most part Alex Dietrich who uh, is half owner of Half Coast Studios I couldn't tell you when I've heard him call me hey he doesn't he calls me Jeff. He says, hey, Jeff, how you doing? Hey, Jeff, I got something I need to run by you. Hey, Jeff, you got a minute? I mean, it's amazing, right? And, and I mean, he's probably actually, I know he is, he's better at it than me. Because, again, I'm, I'm talking to my own little brain here. I'm not always the, you know, I'm not always the guy that does this with um, meticulousness and uh, with uh, success 100% of the time. And then I love this, and I hope, I've asked Maddie for permission on this, but you know, um, mom named Matthew, Matthew, and I chopped it up and called him Maddie. And is he okay with it? Uh, he's okay with it. Now, I don't know about mom, right? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask mom. Mom might not like it. Maddie's behind the window here today working the, uh, working the boards. Uh, his mom might like, Matthew, I don't, I want, I named you Matthew. I want you to be called Matthew. No, I don't know. I'm sure she doesn't. But, you know, again, we just chop up, you know, it, it, it's Joseph, not Joe. Right? Catherine, not Kathy. A friend of mine just got spanked two weeks ago verbally by somebody who he mistakenly called Kathy. And she said, oh, no, 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 no. It's Catherine. Okay, well, at least the guy is saying her name, right? But it's Catherine, not Kathy. Right? It's Mr. Nelson, not hey. It's Mrs. Miller, not ma'am. It's Judith, not how you doing. It's Jonathan, not what's up, man. It's Edward, not hey, bud. It's Lawrence, hey, not hey, buddy, right? So, I mean, these are things that, uh, you know, we need to start thinking about because honestly, if uh, I really mean this, if you are a financial advisor and you're not calling your customers by name, man, 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 I just don't know how, I don't know how endeared they are to you. You may think they are, but I mean, come on, this... <laughs> Let's call people by name. Let's start that muscle memory process and let's get away from those hay portfolios because we all manage way too many hay portfolios, right? So um, I, again, I think it's part of the casual society we're in. I think we've, we've just um, lowered the bar on, on exchanges and, and hellos and goodbyes and, and just um, you know the cordial behavior that used to be part of a very, um, a more, I guess, proper society in terms of how they addressed each other. Um, is it bad? I, I mean, I like the casual atmosphere much better. I, I'm much more comfortable in a flannel shirt doing this podcast than if we did this 20 years ago when you had to wear, or 30 years ago when you probably should have worn a tie, right? And maybe even a jacket. But I, I like the casual atmosphere. But, you know, do I get too casual? Oh, Absolutely. And do I get too casual in the wrong places? Absolutely. So again, I'm talking to myself, just like I'm sharing with you guys. So, um, you know, are nameless customers built on a rock foundation that's firm? That's a question you have to answer. Do nameless customer relationships invite distance between you and them? Um, again, that's your question to answer. I think it does in my life and in my business, it does. Are nameless customers a danger to long-term partnerships? I think so. 
Um, I certainly try to call every customer by name. I make a conscientious effort of it. Do I do I fail? Yes, but um, I try to, at least, especially a long-term customer. Should I be addressing my customers by name? Check. And what are the implications of admitting names with family, friends, or neighbors? Um, I've often thought that. You know, are we really bolstering great relationships with our neighbors if we're just, hey, you know, I'm guilty of it, guys, just like you are. I, I swear I got a neighbor that it called me Tim for years. I don't know his name. I, I got it one time. I wrote it down. I don't know where it is. So he called me Tim for years. Now he doesn't call me anything. And I don't call him anything, so we just wave at each other. I mean, he's a distance away. But still, is that, I don't know. Is that right? No. And I'm, I'm the guy doing the podcast, you know, so I'm just as guilty. So uh, we're just trying to have some fun with it. And listen, just trying to stir that thought process. The name game, Shirley Ellis, 1964. If you've never heard this song, I'm sure you have. It's so cool. And the particular version we're going to put up on YouTube today for our Lost in the Shuffle pick is the, is the version that has the rules to the name game. It's called the name game, the song. And you'll, you'll, you'll know it when you hear it, I'm sure. Great catchy tune, great jumpy tune. It's a classy gal. I really like the way she delivers this, and it's really a cool concept. So enjoy the name game, 1963, Shirley Ellis. And, uh, hey, we always just say, listen, we're all about the, the change the results in business, you want to change those results? Change the how you're doing business because it's just the team of horses pulling the results cart anymore seems to be the experience team. It's the, it's the customer transaction buying experience. It's how you handle them. It's how you do business, not so much the business that you provide. So just think about that. And uh, like we always say, do your own homework, do your own investigating, do your own research out there. There's so many ways to get to other answers that are qualified. So much, so much truth is being concealed from us and it's unright and it's wrong. But uh, you can find it if you look for it. Be a truth teller. We need more truth tellers. I'm done with the lies. You're done with the lies. We hate the lies. Turn TV cable news off. It's just mind poison. Seriously. Turn a podcast on. Right? Uh, open a Bible. Great stories. Awesome stories. Pray and love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And guys, we will see you in 168 hours for episode 120 next week. Thanks so much. Have a great week.